All right, so we're currently in game number two here. On the left, we have Jack Keeper on five life points, Andrew Jessup on nine. Keep in mind, these are both Death's Shadow Jack decks, so it's unclear which of those is actually the better life total this late in the game. Yeah. Uh, frequently, you want to be at the lower life total because you get the larger Death Shadow, uh, certainly if it's lethal in one crack. Uh, that's not going to be the case here. It's a little bit shy, but not hard to change that. Jack's going to make Coligan's Command. Now both, if you look here, Jack's up a game. And Andrew's discard card. Andrew's going to discard down to three cards as Jack buys back a Snapcaster Mage. What's really of note is Jack has a full seven card hand here. And an Ancestral Vision coming yeah. off Suspend. Yeah, so he's going to likely be discarding to hand size. Or just casting three Death Shadows, you know. Yeah. We'll find out. And I like this because the Ancestral is going to come off Suspend End step, he's just going to make that Snapcaster Mage he got back. No cards to flashback, just a 2-1. Yeah, if you're discarding anyway, may as well. He's so far up in cards, he does not need to leverage Snapcaster Mages. What he really needs to do is stop Jessup from pulling out of this. So he wants to just have answers to the things that Jessup is doing. The Snapcaster Mage is a little heavy on mana for that kind of thing. Yeah. He wants to have his hand full of Fatal Pushes, Stubborn Denials, that kind of thing. Yeah, when you... It's not just about how many cards in, are in your hand. It's how many castable things can you do. Mm -hmm. You know, 10 cards in hand with 5 mana isn't that different than 3 cards in hand with 5 mana. It can feel really nice to look at a handful of Snapcaster Mages, but unless you have other things to spend your mana on, it's hard to leverage more than one in the same turn. So what Jack can do is be very efficient on his plays. He'll make a Death Shadow. That's a 8-8 eight, eight Death Shadow. Then he'll tap 1 to make Tassiger. So made 12 power for 2 mana, that's nice. And Tassiger is particularly difficult for the current iterations of Grixis Shadow to solve. It looks like Jessup does have two main deck terminates. Um, and then uh, it's kind of not, not bringing anything that's good against <laughs> the sideboard other than Liliana, but that's not going to work on this board stage. And, and then Jack avoids discarding the hand size by suspending another Ancestral Vision. That's pretty good. Big fan. Fatal push on Death Shadow. Jack says no with Stubborn Denial. Andrew tries again. That one's going to work. The Death Shadow hits the graveyard. And that makes it so that Jack's next attack is not lethal. Now, Terminate takes care of Tassiger as well, but Andrew's now out of cards. And yep. draws and just says go. You see Jack picking up Gurmag Angler. And it's already not clear that the Snapcaster Mage is a solvable problem for Jessup as he draws a card and passes the turn there. Yeah, I mean, he had no cards in hand. This is realistically about as bad of a spot as you can be in in a game of Magic. Your opponent has a full grip. They have advantage on the board. Life totals are low. You don't have anything you can peel off the top to immediately win the game. And your opponent has more cards on suspend. We'll see that. Here is Inquisition of Kozluck. He wants to see what Andrew drew. Show me that land. Yeah, it looks like it was a land. Gurmag Angler from Jack. That's a lethal attacker next turn. Yeah, Jack has a ton of cards in hand. Inquisition doesn't cost him any life. He may as well look, but you can be pretty confident that that's a land. Pass one more draw for Jessup. It looks like it's Stubborn Denial. No, it's going to be a cantrip of some sort. So can he draw into something? It's Serum Visions. Draws Slate of Hand. That's kind of a combo. Yeah, you can yeah do either, are either of these two cards he wants. Yeah. I think there's at least one land in the mix, so probably not into that one. Now for Slate of Hand from Andrew. Thought sees Serum Visions. All right. Pretty easy call. Serum Visions it is. Cantrip into cantrip into cantrip. Kind of feels like a legacy deck if your legacy cantrips were just real bad. Mm -hmm. And Serum Visions again. Is it over? Draws and scries. Death Shadow. That'll be kept on the top for Jessup. That one is nice. Looks like he picked up Liliana of the Veil. That's not going to do it, though. Andrew's at five, and I don't think Jack's going to sacrifice the Gurmag Angler. No. <laughs> I would imagine not. If he had a fatal push that he can combine with it, that would be one thing. Yeah, Liliana minus two. All right. And Jack correctly picks Snapcaster, and that's going to be game and match. So it is Jack Kiefer improving to 3-0 and oh here with Grixis Death Shadow. Hmm. I assume earlier in the game, Jack must have started with the suspended Ancestral Vision. Because 